So summer's basically over. I don't like saying that. Hey guys. Basically this is what I do. This is what I do with my life. I putter around, I play with yarn. It's what I do. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish, if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. You're probably a subscriber, and you're my people. This is the channel where I document my fiber adventures. So you might see spinning, knitting, weaving, dyeing, maybe felting someday, although I haven't done it yet. Crocheting is actually coming very soon. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm glad to see you. Summer's basically over. It's like 90 outside here today, and I'm still inspired for fall, so I'm gonna go ahead and dye some yarn and some fiber. So I'm gonna do two batches. I have some kind of like inspiration in my mind, and let's see what it does. I don't know. One of them is kind of like a dark purple slash maybe even eggplant color all the way through to gold, and the other one is kind of a pumpkin spice inspiration but I want to add a tiny bit of red so let's see what we come up with you guys have been asking for a while if I am willing to sell bats and stuff I dye and I've always kind of felt like I wasn't good enough to do that and that's not me trying to get compliments or anything it's just in my mind I've always kind of felt like you know like I'm not professional quality but I've decided going forward <sighs> I am going to be willing to sell some or all of what I'm dying on my channel. Probably just some because usually I'm inspired and I want to keep some of it. I love to hear your opinions. You know I do. And also, are you excited for fall or if you are in the other hemisphere, are you excited for spring and what is the thing that gets you the most excited for that new season? Because. I'm trying to find everything in the world to make myself be excited about fall and winter. It's a struggle for me. I'm a summer girl. It's just the way it is. So tell me what you're excited for. Maybe I can incorporate that into my life so I can like, you know, feel better about it. Okay, so here is my yarn. It is not submerged, it's, but it's got some water. I want the dye to move around a little bit in the pot. And then here are my two bundles of roving so that it makes more sense when you can see the end result. This one is zigzagged all the way down. 
and they are pushed in here kind of tight so I'm gonna have to like flip them to make sure I get underneath and stuff and then this one starts up here and goes like this so they'll be different to spin and different effects but I'm really excited so let's do it I'm gonna set the camera up on the counter and get to squirting some dye on here I don't know how this color is gonna show up but in person because it's like reflecting light because it's wet but in person it is beautiful oh all the way up to the purple I sure hope I don't have any white underneath I think it's gonna be really good and then here is my yarn this might not exhaust but I'm totally I'm here for it whatever it does I'm here for it because it's gonna be good oh gosh oh, you're all steamed up kind of looks like I lost most of my gold but we won't really know till it's dry I added some more purple and it is taking up the dye I think so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think I'm gonna give this five more minutes and then turn it off and let it cool in the pan and I will bring you guys back to see if all the dye exhausted. I don't really have high hopes, but sometimes red picks up more as it cools. So fingers crossed. We're gonna look at the other one. Ooh. Steam you up again. Okay guys, this is close enough for me. It's pretty well cooled down. I can touch, yeah, it's definitely cooled down. So I'm gonna rinse it and get it outside to dry. This is gonna be very fall.